Hello and welcome to Ask Timely. My name is Seb, I'm one of the co-founders here, and this is a video series we use to talk about the questions that you send in to me at seb at timelycoffees.com.au. You send me all of your questions, they are sometimes they're really complicated, sometimes really easy, and no matter what it is, I'd love to see your questions coming through, so please keep sending them in. So today's question comes from Linda, and Linda asks, where does your coffee come from? So this is a really great question because it's something that maybe a lot of people want to know, but maybe a lot of people aren't sure how to ask. So we really appreciate getting this question and questions like it. So unfortunately, there's no simple way to answer, where does your coffee come from? A lot of people come into the roastery and they say, you know, do you have coffee that comes from Australia, for example? You're an Australian company, where's your Australian coffee? So there is coffee grown in Australia, but we don't buy any at the moment. It's not that we never would, but we would have to find something that is of a significant enough quality that would really make us interested in getting it. But the coffee that we buy is generally from different parts of the world at different times of year. So coffee is a seasonal product. And what that means is that different parts of the world are gonna be growing, processing, picking, harvesting, and exporting coffee at different times. So for example, you may not have, you know, your freshest Brazilian coffee at the same time of the year you have your freshest Kenyan coffee. So this is based on, you know, when the coffee trees are actually flowering, which is gonna be dictated by rainfall and sun and a lot of different things. But generally we find that not a lot of the seasons overlap. So, you know, you're not going to have your Central Americans and your South Americans and your Africans all at one time, all at their freshest. You may find that you have a slight overlap where you have them all on the catalogue at the same time, but it's not going to be that they've all just arrived. So when a coffee arrives in the roastery, we try and release that coffee as early as we can because our feeling is that the fresher it is, the better it's going to taste. And also the longer the roasted product will last you as a user. So we try and use that coffee as fresh as possible. And while we might have a moment where, you know, we have just the end of our Brazilian lots and the, the freshness of our Kenyan lots all coming out at the same time, it's never gonna be that they both just arrived, they're both in their peak season. It's gonna be, you know, a little bit of a, a, little bit of a, um, a rotating s selection that we have, which is why we have our rotating micro lots. So this is a little bit about where our coffee comes from. You might find some origins like Colombia and Ethiopia that are, you know, more readily available all year round for different reasons. Ethiopian coffee lasts a lot longer and Colombian coffee generally has a lot of different microclimates. So you can buy from different regions in Colombia, sometimes maybe Cauca or Tolima or Nariño. And if you buy from different regions at different times, that means that you can generally all year round have a Colombian coffee on your catalog. But things like, you know, El Salvador, we find is good once a year for a couple of months and then it starts to get old really fast. Guatemala, less so, but still definitely a big factor in Central American, so um, Ecuador and Honduras in particular. Um, some coffees, like coffees from Timor-Leste, are really interesting because they seem to last a little bit longer, but not forever. Um, Kenyan coffee is good for about nine months, so you have like a three-month window where you don't have a lot of really good-tasting Kenyan coffee. And the important thing as well to understand about coffee seasonality is that when we talk about how we like to use our coffees, so for example, like I said, Kenyan coffee within kind of nine months, that is just how we do things at Timely. This is not a hard and fast rule for you to follow or for that you might see at other coffee roasteries. There'll be other coffee roasteries that use one coffee for two years and that's totally fine. And you may love coffee that has been picked three years ago. That's also totally fine. So it's all about what you find to be the most satisfying and the most delicious for you. And all we can do is we can try and buy coffee and roast it and present it in a way that we think is its most delicious form. So that's a little bit about where our coffee comes from. It's gonna be different parts of the world at different times of the year. It's always gonna be fresh. And it's always gonna be as delicious as we can possibly make it. But if you have any more questions about coffee seasonality, then please feel free to get in touch ask one of the roasters, ask us when you're in at Timely at the coffee shop, or send me an email. Send me an email at seb at timelycoffees.com.au and I'm happy to answer all your questions. That's it from me. See you next week.